This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it easy to create, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back, okay? We have another Halloween video for you today. If you get to the end of this video and you still need some more ideas, feel free to check out last year's Halloween video. I have some over there, but this one has all new ideas. So if you're still looking, I do have another video if you want to watch it after this one. But you can probably tell by my fabulous hat I'm wearing and the title of this video that this video is gonna be 50 Halloween crochet ideas. I know it's kind of early into the month, but I wanted to give you guys as much time as possible to make everything you want to make, okay? We've got a couple categories for this video. We have wearables, decor, blankets, amigurumi slash market items, and then costumes. So I wanted to kind of hit every little group in this in this video and then if there's any of these categories that you want more of so you want more costumes you want more something like that comment down below and let me know and before you do that go check my videos out on my channel already because i have pretty sure i have a whole costumes video i'll link all of my previous halloween related videos in the description box if you want to go watch those um but i'll also i'll link all those down there basically is what i'm saying if any of these patterns are yours and you don't want them promoted in this video, DM me over on Instagram or shoot me a quick email and I will take them out. As always, everything I'm showing you is going to be linked in the description box below in the order that I'm showing it to you, linked to a free or paid written or video tutorial. Most of the ones in this video are free. I would say over 40 of them are free, but there are a couple paid ones because I just, I could not pass up the opportunity to share some really cute patterns, even if they're paid. So let's go ahead and jump into our first category, which is our wearable category. All right, so for our wearable category, we have these really cute candy corn earrings. We have this spiderweb backless sweater. I thought it was really cool. This is one of the first projects that I've seen that was spider webbing, but also like backless because most of the spiderweb stuff I saw is just all spiderweb and you'll see what I mean in a moment, but I like this because it's kind of like you can't tell in the front until you turn around. Um, and then there's this adult size pumpkin hat, which is what I'm wearing. You can't really see the little leaf. The little leaf is kind of blending in with my leaves behind me, but this is what I'm wearing. I did this free, it's a free video tutorial. Um, I'm trying to try out some of the patterns and stuff that I'm recommending to you guys. Usually I've done a couple of them in each video I give you, but I'm trying to wear something from each video. So this one is kind of like the beginning of that. I think I did it in another video. I'm pretty sure, but I'm trying to wear at least one item from the video. So I did this pumpkin hat and it's very cute, very adorable. I used yarn I already had, so I'm saving money, but I did make this. I loved it. Um, I, it was perfect for my head. I even had I read the comments and it said that it runs tight, so I crocheted with a little bit of a looser tension than I usually would because I'm a very tight tension crocheter. So I crocheted with a loose tension and it ended up making like a perfect fitting hat for me because I have a big head. So keep that in mind when you go to make it, but it is a free video tutorial and that will also be linked. So the next one I have for you is this video tutorial, also free. It's for a baby. So if you have a kid, if you're a mom or a dad and you want to match with your baby, you can make an adult one and you can make a little kid one. And then when you go to the pumpkin patches and you take all your cute pictures, you'll be matching with your baby. So definitely do that. Okay. Super cute. And then this one I have for you is a jack-o-lantern um sweater is a jack-o-lantern sweater which i'm pretty sure i recommended this a year ago and i still love it to this day so there you go and then i have this spiderweb top which i did the spiderweb top so if you want to know how much yarn it takes how much time it takes definitely check out my crochet with me video on my channel i'll link it down below as well but this is the video tutorial for that top i just want to take a second to thank this video sponsor squarespace 
I've been building my website with Squarespace for a bit now, and there's just a couple features that I really wanna let you guys know about. When you go to start making your website, there are so many professional templates that you can work with. You can change the color, you can change literally anything about the template, but it's really nice to start somewhere if you have no idea what you're doing, like me. I have no experience building a website, so the professional templates make the whole process a lot smoother. And if you're anything like me and you make and sell your crochet items, you can have your online shop on Squarespace. You can sell physical items like crochet plushies or digital items like crochet patterns. And you can even sell your services if you wanna teach someone how to crochet or do something else. Squarespace also has a point of sale feature, which basically means if you're anything like me and you're doing physical in-person markets, anything you sell in person at that market matches what you have on your shop. So you don't have to worry about double selling or getting your inventory mixed up when you do live events. You just connect your Square Reader to the Squarespace app and it'll keep your orders, inventory, and customer data in sync with your online store. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash amazing page and use my code amazing page to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And then our next category is decor. All right, so for decor, we have these cute little ghost pumpkin ornaments, which I thought you could use in like a um, garland or just kind of like sprinkled around or just hanging on like a tree or something. Super cute. You can make this raven skull to sit on a table or on a shelf somewhere. You can make this funky looking skeleton pillow. You can make this ghost candy bowl, super cute. You can make these little ghost coasters if you're hosting a party this year. Or you can make this tarantula in like, depending on how big of yarn you use, you can make a huge one. If you use blanket yarn, it'll go farther than if you use like a weight for acrylic yarn, it might end up being kind of small. But the bigger the yarn, the bigger it'll be. So if you want to make a massive one, instead of paying like $200 for those plastic ones at um, Spirit Halloween, definitely just go with a really thick yarn and it'll be huge. Um, I, this next one, the spider web garland, I made this last year. Um, I don't have it out right now. I put it away and I'm going to pull it out when it gets closer to Halloween, but I crocheted this with this, it's a free video tutorial. I love this video tutorial. I had no issue with it. It was really fast, really cute, and you can make it as long as short as you want it. And I made one for my room. So cute. So I definitely recommend this one. I've personally done this one. Um, then I have this ghost, uh, ghost girl. I have this pumpkin applique for you to go on things. And then this bat one as well. If you want to make a garland or just add it to stuff, you can do that but super cute, gives you some options. You can make this ghost spinner. I've noticed recently on TikTok that the crochet spinners have, the like wind spinners have gone crazy and everybody's freaking out about them. So if you wanna make Halloween versions of them, here's a ghost one and I have another one coming up, but this is a um, spiral kind of Halloween-y pillow. And then these are the these are the cable pumpkins, so they look like knit, but they're crochet, so I thought that was cool. And then we have a table runner, a spiderweb table runner, super cute if you're hosting a party. And then we have a skull wreath, okay, again, super cute, just in general, because everybody's going to be coming to your door for trick-or-treating, but if you're also hosting, it would be cute to have that too. And then if you don't like the skull wreath, I have this trick-or-treat wreath as well if that's something you want to do and then i have these little halloween party things they can be keychains that you can make these into car mirror hanging things you can just make them and put them on shelves you can put them on like the middle of a little table you can do whatever you want with them but super super cute and then this one is a cauldron coaster so if you've been watching my videos or you're literally just anywhere on the internet crochet related um there are these like flower coaster sets where you can make a potted plant where each of the leaves or the flowers or whatever are coasters someone came up with a cauldron coaster set so it looks like a bubbling cauldron and the bubbles are coasters so i thought that would be really cute especially if you're hosting a party this year so definitely do that one and then this is the other wind spinner I mentioned. So we have the ghost one and then we have this bat one. So you have two wind spinner options. And then we have the upside down bats, super cute. And that is all I have for you for decor. Uh, if you want more decor ideas, 
there's a whole decor video on my channel. I'm pretty sure I'll link it down below. And then this next category is for blankets. So let's jump into that one. For this one, I have a couple granny square crochet tutorials just because I figured you can make blankets out of these. I have this witch granny square, this spider web granny square, this pumpkin slash jack-o'-lantern depending on if you add a face granny square. And then I have this webbing granny square, which is a more like airy and see through if you're wanting more of an airy blanket and then we have actual blanket patterns so we have this halloween blanket pattern we have a pumpkin patch blanket pattern and we have a candy corn blanket pattern now this candy corn one insane okay i have never wanted to make a blanket as much as i want to make this blanket so i'm definitely gonna attempt it but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it done or if I'm even get it started in time for it to be done by Halloween, but we'll see. I have a lot of things I'm working on, but I love this candy corn blanket. Now, the next category I have for you is a Mikurumi slash market item. So for this category, I wanted to add things you could make fairly quickly for a craft fair. I know a lot of you have commented in my previous videos to make a market idea for like Halloween um, because you guys have signed up for markets that are happening like the week of Halloween, which when this video comes out, you should have plenty of time to prepare for that market um, with these ideas. So I wanted to give you some that were quick and super cute and ones that I know will sell really good at a market for Halloween. So here are those ideas. All right, so the first one we have for this category is the beetle keychains or charms. Now this one's paid, but we have these cute little Halloween swings. So cute. People love these to put on their car mirrors in their car for like decorating. So cute. They're just like little different characters on a swing. Super cute for Halloween. Then we have these crocheted totes super adorable and then i have these cute little ghost plushies if you want to cutesy fi um halloween then i have all these halloween cats three different options in that video and then we have a very simple soft blanket yarn candy corn plushy super cute and then i have this one which is a no so ghost and i've done this one before um i have ghosts for sale in my shop and this is the tutorial i use and then i have this jack skellington for you and i have these really cute this is a bundle pattern so it comes with the ghost pattern and all of the different little variations with the costumes and the hats and all of those so if you want to do little ghost plushies with different Halloween costumes that is going to be the bundle for you and then this one is a bundle of three with all the little baby Halloween scary movie characters super cute and then we have a no so spider people for some reason really love spiders that's like the consensus of all of the research I've done and all the Facebook groups I'm in people love buying the blanket yarn like really soft spider plushies we also have this really cute cheeky pumpkin amigurumi little plushie okay i thought this was just like a fun little spin on most of the halloween plushies our last category is costumes you know i couldn't do a halloween video without adding some costume ideas and i have a full 50 costume idea video already on my channel so if these aren't enough for you i'll link that one down below as well all right so for this category the first costume we have is obviously a free video tutorial to make your very own witch hat okay perfect then we have a princess braid if you have kids or you're gonna be a princess this year and then i love this devil headband because even if you don't make it for a kid because a kid's wearing it in this but you can any person can wear this so you can if you're gonna be a devil this year make your own little horns don't buy a plastic set um and then this one is a child size vampire cape and then we have a flower dog costume. I had to include a dog costume in here for all of my dog owners. And then we have a mermaid tail and top and a little like um, sea moss kind of shrug. Cute little mermaid costume outfit. And then we have an adult vampire size cape. Super cute. And that is all I have for you for our 50 Halloween crochet ideas. Oh my gosh. I love Halloween. So excited to make this video, so excited to wear my freshly crocheted hat, very excited this year. So if you're excited too, all those projects I just showed you are linked in the description box below. 
with the free or paid written or video tutorial to make everything I showed you. I also put them all on a Pinterest board. If you use Pinterest, I'll link that down as well. Lots of links down there. If any of these patterns are yours and you don't want them in this video or they're linked to the wrong spot because I've had that happen before, shoot me a quick email or DM me on Instagram, whichever is easier for you, and I can fix the issue. With that being said, if there's another video you want me to do that I haven't done yet, comment down below and I will add it to the list. I do every single one that you guys recommend me to do and ask for. So if more than one of you are asking, it just kind of goes up higher on the list. So if I have one person asking for like yellow crochet ideas, which I've already done, but if I have one person asking for that and I have five people asking for purple, purple will happen first. So comment, even if you already see it, comment it again so that I can kind of tell what you guys are wanting more and I'll do those videos. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.